Welcome to Electron Online. In the last video we talked about our solar system and the size of stars relative to the planets and then the distance between planets and the distance between stars relative to shrinking them down to something of this size. Let's say that this were stars right here and we said in the last video if these, this was the Sun and this was the next nearest star to our Sun, Alpha Centauri, they would be about a thousand miles apart at this scale. And yet, when you look at galaxies, they look like they're just teeming with incredible numbers of stars. So what I've done here is I've driven a, a, drawn a primitive uh, look of a galaxy. The galaxy that we live in, the Milky Way galaxy, has what we call a bulge and has spiral arms that create the disk around the bulge. So the bulge tends to be somewhat spherical in shape and the disk tends to be kind of flat and pancake-like in shape. So most galaxies, like this spiral galaxy right here, tends to be relatively flat except for the middle that has kind of a bulge. And yes, our solar system, consisting of the sun and the stars around and the moons and the comets and everything else and the asteroids, are situated in one of these what we call island universes. This is, um, this is kind of like a, a region in the universe away from everything else around it that contains an enormous grouping of stars. In the case of our Milky Way, like Milky Way galaxy, there's about 250 billion stars in our galaxy. Some are bigger than the sun, some are smaller than the sun. Many of them have planets like our sun does. And they're situated either in the disk or in the bulge of the galaxy. Now it turns out the galaxy like the Milky Way tends to spin around on its axis so all the stars tend to go around the, um, the center of the universe, or I should say the center of the galaxy, just like the planets go around the sun. What we find in the universe is that things tend to rotate readily and Moons go around planets, planets go around stars, stars go around the center of the galaxies that they're in. And yes, in some cases, galaxies will actually be gravitationally attracted to one another and kind of circle around them, the, each other as well. How big are these things? Well, a quarter of a billion stars, especially when many of the stars are just enormous distances apart from one another, these galaxies are enormous in size. It turns out our Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years in size, 100,000 light years across. Well, what is a light year? Well, a light year is a distance that light travels in one year. And that is an enormous distance. It's about six trillion miles. One light year is about six trillion miles. The reason why one light year is so large is because light travels at enormous speed. Light travels, and we use the letter C for the speed of light. The speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second or about 300,000 kilometers per second. Which means that if light could travel in a path around the Earth, if, if light could simply travel around the Earth, of course it doesn't, light travels in a straight line, then it would go around the Earth seven and a half times in a single second, or the distance from here to the moon in just over a second, about one and a quarter, one and a third second would be the time required for light to travel from the Earth to the moon. At that speed, imagine how far light could travel in an entire year. Wow. Just think, if it could travel from here to the moon in just over a second, and there's 86,400 seconds in a day, light could travel 86,400 times the distance between the Earth and the moon. That is just absolutely amazing. So, what is a light year? It's a distance that light can travel in an entire year. So imagine how far it can travel in a day, now imagine how far it can travel in a year. And then imagine that a galaxy is 100,000 light years across. Imagine if you're on one side of the galaxy and you turn on a flashlight and the beam of light starts traveling across the galaxy, it would take 100,000 years to reach the other side, while each second it travels 186,000 miles or 300,000 kilometers. That is an enormous distance. These galaxies are just absolutely enormous in size, and yet they're filled with hundreds of billions of stars like our galaxy here. Not all galaxies are this size. Some are bigger, some are smaller. But here's the typical spiral galaxy, enormous in size, containing 250 billion stars, many of these stars containing, containing planets. And who knows, some of those planets could contain life, and even intelligent life. We don't know. They're so far away. I don't know if we'll ever find out, but if we can, we will. But there's a lot of mystery still waiting for us in there. 
But that's what this is all about. These videos are all about us understanding the universe. We'll start with, we started with matter, we started with the solar system, we're going, on, we're going to go on to galaxies, and we're going to systematically travel through the science behind astronomy and then applying those principles of that science to try to understand what this universe is all about. And when we do, you'll find out it's an amazing place. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, stay tuned and keep watching these videos. We'll have a lot more for you in store.